So hey there, this is Lee and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom Canva website design fast. So I've been hearing lots of good things about Canva websites, how good they are and I want to see if I can create a brand new design from scratch based on a design I really like. So the design I'm going to be using or basing the my design on is going to be this one which is Jasper which is AI copywriting tool uh, really cool tool I'll put a link in the description so, so we're going to do that all in this video each part I'm going to treat as a page so I'm going to treat this as a page and I'm going to treat this as another page I'm going to do about four pages in total so let's get into it so here is my template I'm going to close these Canva templates because I don't need these let's make the color black so there we go so the page is black and then I'm just going to uh, for speed sake I want to duplicate this page duplicate again and duplicate again so I've got about four so next I want to get the logo so for now I'm just gonna copy the image Canva I can just do a paste like that so there's the logo I want this uh, up in the top corner if I preview this I can show you what it looks like so that's on desktop and then if we click this we can see where the logo is going to sit on desktop and I think that's because of where the other I haven't got any other elements at the moment so that's why it's putting it in the center uh, I really like how Canva does that so next thing we want is some text so I'm just going to add a heading here paste that in here again this is just all for in order to build the design obviously once we're happy with the design we could change the text yeah you can already see it's already starting to look like the website I need the other copy up here now what about adding some color to these now as I as far as I know there isn't a way to do this gradient text on Canva if you know a way to do it please leave a comment below so for now I'm just gonna add it as a one color so we're just gonna make copy this uh, get a color use the eyedropper take it off the logo like that that's that's kind of working I'm happy with happy with that so we've got the the text underneath here um, what other elements so how about this button let's have let's try and replicate this button yeah, this is the one I want with rounded corners I'm gonna size this down one of the tricks I do on a Mac if I want to know the size of something I do a screenshot and I just uh, hover the screenshot tool and it tells me in pixels pretty much how big it is so it's saying that's about 50 pixels by about 390 yeah that's about right about 360 by about 50 there or thereabouts that'll do for the purpose of this design uh, now again we want to get this color here is it gonna get me yeah look at that how cool is that so um, I've matched that exact color pretty much if you wanted the, the, the darker blue then you could match that um, and then we're just gonna put some text in there uh, and then I'm gonna group these together so that's one button and then I can turn that into a link so there's a look there's a link here which I can add so I'm gonna add that and it's gonna be youtube.com forward slash Lee launches if we wanted to add these logos here how would we do that well um, I'm gonna just grab a few of these again I'm just gonna do copy image uh, just for the sake of getting the design right I'm gonna move these up I think I need a bit more space on here and I'm just gonna run these along the bottom of this page here and again it's just I'm just copying and pasting directly from the website um, from the Jasper website which um, Canva allows you to do so that's about it for making these logos work I've decided just to have five uh, artistic license here I want to add a video in here now you can add videos from the elements as videos that you get in Canva but you can also link to a YouTube video I'm going to show you how to do that but I'm going to select YouTube and then I'm going to do a search for Jasper uh, dot AI 
I'm going to I'm going to pick this video because I don't know what this video is about but I'm going to pick this video because it pretty much uh, is similar to the one on the Jasper website for now um, I'm going to see about uh, adding a border around this like they've got on the Jasper one so I've grouped that um, quite happy with that I'm going to make this a bit larger on the page uh, you can see I've grouped it and then repositioned it so we've got our two pages already make sure this is center aligned again using uh, canvas snap to tools and then we're going to do is add some tweets uh, into the page so I'm going to where people have uh, mentioned me in some tweets I'm going to do that and again you can do that by going uh, to more and you can I'm just going to move this up uh, where's the Twitter um, it's it's the embeds function and then you can select Twitter and you'll see that you can get tweets like this so this is already adding social proof and we can just add a few of these across the page um, so I'm going to add another one so the great thing about these is you can position them how you want yeah quite happy with that we could add some some more tweets in there but for now I'm going to move on you, you get the idea and then finally I want some kind of uh, call to action for you to download this template I'm going to put this template uh, in the description below so this is what the final design looks like when it's completed we've got the opening top half of the website with the logo the copy the call to action button and the logos we then scroll down and then we've got our video our YouTube video to, sh to show what the app is like we've got our tweets our social proof tweets which we've embedded a final call to action when you click publish you publish your site uh, you'll get a link which you can set what your link is you can choose to publish to a domain but I've just chosen to publish to a Canva domain for now but you could use your own domain and then this is what the actual website looks like when it's launched so just going to scroll down so you can see that this is the final product and I have made this available for you as a template there's a link in the description to get this just for a dollar just for the cost of a dollar uh, through buy me a coffee go to the description if you want to get that if you want to check it out and use it for your own purposes let me know if you've enjoyed this video uh, please give it a thumbs up please put in the comments if you've got any questions and do let me know if you'd like me to make any other videos like this on how to launch your own digital assets with Canva and I will see you in another video. Cheers.